Hey guys, welcome to PatternLab.London. Okay, we haven't done a pattern making tutorial for a little while. We've been focusing mainly on fashion illustrations. So um, I thought I would start off on this lovely bank holiday Friday with something really, really simple, which is our lantern sleeve, or not ours, but it is a lantern sleeve um, adaption for the basic block. Once again, you can find these basic blocks. Let's go to here. You can find these basic blocks on our sister site, designlab.london. Uh, as you can see, this is the block here. This is a size 10. We do nested sizes, so anything from 4 up to 24 as one downloadable pack and it's digital so you can actually edit and manipulate those lines and obviously follow along this tutorial or you can visit patternlab.london and create your own made to measure um, basic block so enter your measurements into our system and then obviously choose your design elements and then you can obviously create that block to fit you accurately okay but let's carry on first of all so once again we're going to make this lantern sleeve it's really simple and it's just a case of literally splaying open our sleeve um, uh, at the top and the bottom panel I'm going to show you how to do that it's really simple uh, if you're not familiar with Adobe Illustrator this is the platform we're working on at the moment and if you're not familiar with pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator then head on over to the patternlab.london courses page you will find um, a whole series of tutorials, free tutorials that show you how to um, how to use Adobe Illustrator as a pattern making platform okay so you kind of need to have an understanding of how to do this first but I will show you um, as we go along it should be pretty basic okay so first of all I'm gonna grab my digital block whether that's from Pattern Lab or Design Lab it's up to you I'm just gonna simply copy it because I don't want to uh, damage this existing file because I'm going to need to use that for other tutorials in the future. I'm going to create a new document. So actually, instead of doing that, let's actually create a new document. So you can go File and then New. And then you just want a desktop, or sorry, a... Um, hang on, it's taking a second. You just want an artboard about 450 centimeters. Okay, this allows you a loads and loads of space to work on because these are full-size patterns. You can choose inches as well. If you want to work in inches, you can do that. I use centimeters. And then simply click Create. Okay, so let's paste that pattern. As you can see, that is a full-scale pattern and we have a huge amount of space to work with. It's like having a big pattern cutting table. So first of all, I'm going to get my big selection tool just over here on the left-hand side and we have tools on the right-hand side here as well. Once again, watch our pattern making tutorials in Adobe Illustrator and I'll show you how to set up these tools, which ones you need and how to use them. So first of all, I'm going to get my big selection tool. This is the black one. So we have the white one, we have the black one. The black one is the select... Uh, di sorry. The black one is the uh, selection tool and the small one is the direct direct selection tool. With the black one we're just simply going to click and drag over all of this here and we're just going to move these patterns off to the left hand side. Let's just grab our pattern. So our sleeve pattern is the only thing we're going to be working on here. So at the moment, as you can see, if I click on this it's all grouped. So basically what we need to do is ungroup this so we can get rid of some of these elements so we have a nice clean sleeve block to work with. Let's go object. So with this selected, it's a big selection tool, click on this object here. Object, ungroup. And now you can see that they all should be individual elements, which is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to um, I'm going to take this line, so the center line. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to take the elbow line. I'm going to take the outline of my pattern as well. I'm just simply going to drag that off to the left-hand side. And here is our pattern, which is looking great. And we don't actually need much of this content, so I'm just going to remove that. We can keep this because it's probably going to be important for later. And obviously to remove something, just select it and then hit backspace on your keyboard. You can always hit command Z uh, to undo what you've just done and shift control Z to redo what you've just done. Or you can use the edit undo redo. So here is our pattern. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to mark a point first of all because I want to measure down the length of the arm where I want to cut this off. Let's just grab this little image here. Copy, paste it in. Okay, so here we go. It's quite large. So what I'm doing is I haven't actually sampled this up. It's just a case of I'm going to measure. So I'm going to imagine that that's probably about 40 centimeters from the tip of that shoulder to roughly just a little bit past that elbow line there. You can actually measure this um, if you have a person or if you have a mannequin. You can always measure the distance from that shoulder point just here down the sleeve. And we're going to make a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, let's double click on the stroke palette here. Double click. And let's just make it blue. You can just pick a color as well, click OK. And I'm just going to get my circle tool, which is just over here, or ellipse tool. And I'm just simply going to hold down the Shift and Alt key to draw a point. OK, and you hold down the Shift and Alt to make it proportionate. If you don't, then it's going to be a bit of a mess. So hold down the Shift and Alt key. I'm just going to draw a point. I'm going to place that point. 
So once I've drawn it, I'm going to get my big selection tool or my black selection tool, click on it and just drag it to that shoulder point. And I'm going to say, OK, I want this seed to be 40 centimeters down from that shoulder point. That's where I want it to end. So I'm just going to get this point. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. That brings up the move palette. And as you can see here, we can go horizontally or vertically. I'm going to go zero horizontally, so we're not going left or right. I'm going to go vertically down by, let's do 40 centimeters. Obviously, it's up to you. You can define your own measurement. I'm going to hit copy. Now, as you can see, it's placed a point just down here. So this is now 40 centimeters. We know that. We can just measure it. In the gray box, it says 40 centimeters. So once again, full size patterns. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point and I'm going to go up by about 10 centimeters. So it's minus to go up. So once again, if you have this selected, hit the Enter key on your keyboard. We're going zero horizontally, and we're going to go up by 10. So that's minus 10, because minus goes up and plus goes down. I'm going to hit Copy. Now that point there is basically where this seam's going to be. So it's up to you. You can define how high or low you want this. It could be a really shallow, um, let's say, cuff here, or it could be a really high cuff where that seam joins. So I'm just using simply 40 centimeters and 10. It's up to you what you use. OK, so next what I want to do is from these points, I'm going to draw some lines because I want to slash this block up. So I'm going to get my line tool, which should be, there it is, my line tool. You can also use the backspace on your keyboard. I'm just simply going to click and drag. And then when I'm clicking and dragging, I'm going to hold down the shift and the alt key. The alt key will basically allow you to, when you move that away, it'll go across the entire block, not just out from one side. So hold the shift and alt key while clicking and dragging that line. I'm going to pretty much grab that line. I'm going to go edit, copy, edit, paste. And as you can see, we're, we're pulling that line past the outline of our sleeve there. I'm going to click and drag this down to that point. So we now have two lines. So I just simply clicked on it, and I've just click and drag and moved it down to that line or this point here. And they're both outside our sleeve block. And the reason why is because we want to essentially slash this sleeve block using these lines. But first, before we do that, we're going to select this line with the big selection tool. So click on this one here, select this line, hold down the shift key to queue up the selection, select that line and go object and then expand. And we're going to expand it. Now basically the expand tool basically turns it from a line into an object or a block. The reason why we do this is because we need an object to cut this block up using the Pathfinder tool. And don't worry if you, this makes no sense, I'm going to show you how to do it. So get the big selection tool, I'm going to click and drag over both these two elements to select them. And then going to hold down the shift key and click on the outline of my sleeve. Well, actually, at the moment, this is grouped with these little elements, and it's going to cause a problem. So I'm going to re remove that grouping first. So my big section tool, click, go object, ungroup. So now it should just be the block, and we're not actually using these little points, which is really handy. So I'm going to simply click and select these two. With my big section tool, I'm going to click and select these two lines, hold down the shift key, click the arm, and then I'm going to my Pathfinder tool, which is this sort of like double overlapping uh, two squares here. You can also find it in Windows and then Pathfinder. And on my Pathfinder palette, with these all selected, I'm going to hit this one here, which is minus front. So I'm removing this front from the sleeve. I'm going to do it at the same time. Click. And as you can see, our block has now been cut up into individual pieces, which is really handy. So. What we do now is, unfortunately, these are all groups. Whenever you use the Pathfinder tool, it groups the element afterwards. So I'm just going to simply get my big section tool, click, then go object, and then ungroup. So now there should be individually selectable items, which is great. OK, let's just do a little bit of housekeeping here. I'm going to click on this little point here. I'm going to remove it. Just click on it and then hit backspace on your keyboard a few times, maybe two or three times. Same with this one. Remove that as well. And also this bottom block. We're not going to be using this because we're using a three-quarter length, almost a three-quarter length sleeve here. So all we really want is this upper panel, which is this panel here, and this lower panel, which is this panel here. So I'm just going to delete that bottom one there. Uh, I'm also going to delete the other line so I don't really need it. And also I'm going to get my small selection tool. I'm going to click on this little point here, so the small or the white selection tool. Click and then I'm going to drag it up. Hold down the shift key just to lock it to that horizontal. Hold down the shift key, click and drag to the bottom or the hem of that sleeve just here. Next I'm going to get my scissor tools. So I'm going to click on the scissor tool and I'm going to snip just here. So that basically separates that line from the bottom line. So now if we've got a big selection tool, click and drag over these two items. Ah, it's still grouped, that's fine. We can just simply let's select all of this. Let's just make sure everything's ungrouped. Object, ungroup. Click and drag over these two items. See now we can actually select them. And then I'm going to click Object and then Group. 
So now that is an element separate, but at least this is grouped with it, so if we move it, we're not going to lose that line. Same with the top, we want to make sure these little um, notches, because these actually apply back to our basic block. This is uh, the notches on the back of the sleeve, or the back of the armhole. This is the notch on the front of the armhole. This is obviously the uh, shoulder point. So if I move this, we're going to lose that information. So I want to make sure it's grouped. So I'm going to get my big section tool, click and drag, object, group. And there we have our pattern, which is looking great. Now we need to basically start to slash this up and open it up. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw six parallel lines. So let's just go to our line tool, click and hold, there we go, line segment tool. It might be in a different location here, but if you can't find it, you can always click on this little three bar, and then you can scroll down and you'll be able to find your line segment tool, click and drag it onto your palette. But I already have it, so I'm just going to click. So to create a line, I'm going to go from the very top of the sleeve, I'm going to click and drag to the bottom of the sleeve. Okay, see how we're always going over the outline of our sleeve. I'm also going to hold down the shift key so it locks to the vertical. Okay. Uh, next, what we're going to do is I'm going to get my big selection tool. I'm just going to drag this off to the side. I want to have it to the very edge. You see how that's on the very edge of my pattern here? If for some reason you're, it's not snapping, you see how mine just like snaps or locks to it? You can always go view and then snap to point. That's really handy. So simply click and drag that to that endpoint there. Then we're going to go edit, copy. I'm going to go paste it in. So control V to paste it in. And then just do another one. V, let's paste another one. I'm just lining them up here. I'm not getting them too straight. It's just a case of all placing them next to each other. What I need is one, two, three, four, five. I need six individual slashes, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm separating this plot up into six pieces. So let's click and drag this over to this side here. And to make sure that they're all evenly spaced, I'm going to get my big section tool, click and drag over these elements. And then at the top here, you have your align tools. I'm just going to click horizontally distribute center. And as you can see, these are now all spaced evenly across that block, which is great. I don't actually need these side ones. That was just to simply balance the block. In other words, to find the even space between these using those endpoints. So I'm going to get a big section tool, click on this one here, backspace a few times, click on this, backspace a few times. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to basically do what we did originally. I'm going to slash this block up using these lines. So first of all, let's click on these lines here. Let's go Object and then Expand. Click OK. That turns them into objects so we can actually cut them from the, uh, the arm or the sleeve. Next I'm going to click on my sleeve. And at the moment they're all grouped. I don't want them to be grouped. So let's go Object, Ungroup. Make sure it's just the outline, which it is, that's great. I'm just going to simply click and drag my big selection tool, click and drag, hold down the shift key, click on my sleeve, and then go, sorry, Pathfinder, and then we have minus front. And there is our block separated up into lots of different pieces. So easy way to cut and slash. Once again, it's grouped, so go object and then ungroup. Ah, and you know what I should have done? I should have actually copied and pasted those lines for the bottom here. So I'm just going to go back. So let's just simply undo. I'm going to grab these lines here. I think they've been expanded, but let's just grab them. I'm going to go copy and paste. I'm going to paste them into the bottom here. And you see how I'm lining them up exactly with the ones underneath? And that just allows me to use these for, obviously, this object in a minute. So let's just do that slicing again. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to grab that. Hang on, it's grouped. Let's ungroup it. So just that line. So sorry, grab those lines. Just the outline of your sleeve, minus front. And there we have it. And let's go object, ungroup. And so now they're all individual panels, which is really helpful. But as you can see, we're going to start rotating these out and spreading them, but we need these little notches to remain where they are. So I'm going to get my big selection tool. I'm going to click and drag over those two elements. I'm going to go Object and then Group. Same with this one here. Click and drag over those elements. Object, Group. Same with this one. Object, Group. Great. So now if I move them, we haven't got a problem. Not that you want to move them. OK, so let's do the same with the bottom one now. I'm going to grab these lines here. I'm also going to hold down the shift key and click on that outline. I'm going to minus front. That's OK. That's fine. It's because this is why you have to ungroup it, because you'll get this error message. If you don't ungroup, you'll get an error message. So you want to make sure that this is just one object. So object, ungroup, just the outline, obviously these lines as well. And then there we go. It works, which is great. I'm also just going to ungroup these as well, because they're all grouped. Object, ungroup. And then let's just take this one and this one and then group that. OK, so next what we're going to do is we're going to start to actually splay these open. And it's completely up to you how much, how dramatic you want this, let's say, angle to be. So at the moment, uh, I don't want a huge amount. So I'm probably going to do about two centimeters between my spreading. So let's just go to my line tool. I'm just going to click on this point here. 
I'm going to type in 2 centimeters, and we're going to go 0. So sorry, when you click with using the line tool, you'll get a dialog box which appears. And I'm going to say 2 centimeters is the, the length of my line, and I want to be 0, so it's going along at this angle. Click OK. And then I'm just going to get a nice color for this. And then let's just up the pointage. There we go. Right, so now I know that that is 2 centimeters long, which is great. So that's how much I'm going to spread it by. But I want to spread each one of these by 2cm. So I'm going to take this line here, copy and paste it. I'm then going to click and drag, place it here, paste another one in. I'm going to take the middle of this point now, click and drag, place it there, paste another one, click and drag, paste another one, and click and drag. And that's the kind of direction that we're going to be, um, let's say, rotating these out. So I'm going to click this panel here. I'm going to start with the outside first. Click this panel. Go to my so big section tool. Click this panel. Go to the rotation tool. I'm just going to click on that point because that's where I'm rotating or spreading. I'm going to click and drag until it locks. You see how it locks that point, which is great. So that's now been splayed by two centimeters. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click and drag both of these now because we're going to move both of them out. I'm going to get my rotate tool. Click on this point and then rotate out once again using that as two centimeters. And see how we group these? It means that this comes with us, it doesn't stay where it used to be. I'm then going to take all three of these now, go to the rotation tool, click on that point, and then rotate it out to there, which will be half of that, so one centimeter. Let's start off with the other side now. So I'm going to select that item with the big selection tool, use the rotation tool, click on that point, rotate it out. Select both of these, go to the rotation tool, click, rotate out, select all three, rotation tool, click, rotate out. Smashing. I can actually just get rid of these lines now. In fact, you know what? No, I'm not going to get rid of them. I'm going to use them for the bottom piece. So just to simply pick these up, I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click on this one. Hold down the shift key to queue up your selection. Click, 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 click. I'm just going to drag that down to the bottom. So we're just making things a little bit easier for us. And we're going to spread. So we've opened up this top panel by 2cm all the way along. And that kind of gives us this splayed out arm effect. And then we can do exactly the same for the bottom panels. But we're using the bottom as the rotation point. So I'm going to get my end one first of all. Always start with the end point. Hold down the rotate tool. Or sorry, click. Select that panel here. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Select this panel with the big section tool, click on the rotate tool, click on that point, rotate that out until it kind of snaps to this point. Select both of these with the big section tool, click and rotate, there we go. Then we do all three, we're doing exactly the same as we do with the top. Click, rotate, then we go to the left hand side, click on that element with the big section tool, click on that point with the rotation tool, rotate, big section tool, select both of them, rotate, and then rotate out, click on that point, rotate out. Perfect. OK, so we have now created essentially the bare bones of that sleeve, or the concept of it. OK, we just simply slash the sleeve and then separate it out. And essentially, because we've spaced it evenly for the top and the bottom, this line should be exactly the same length as this line. And now we're basically going to trace this block off. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get my pen tool, which is just here. I'm going to use that blue fill color still so I can see it stands out. I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to find the center, which is about here. Click and then drag, holding down the shift key. So click and drag to get your curves. If you hold down the shift key, it locks it to the horizontal, you see? So it gives you a really beautiful clean curve. I'm just going to simply move my mouse out until we match. You see how we match that curve on the left-hand side? Same with this one. It should, because it's exactly the same, it should just be even. You should just simply have to click here. If not, you can always get your Convert Anchor Point tool and you can just simply click and drag and move this in and out. Remember, hold down the Shift key so you get a nice, beautiful curve. There we go. Let's just go back because I didn't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Right, next, I'm going to get my pen tool again. I'm going to click on this point. I'm going to click to here. I'm going to the center point again. Click and drag once again, holding down the Shift key. There we go. And then click to this point. Should be even. And click to that point to join it. So that's our bottom panel created. Let's then do the top. I'm going to go from this point to that little dot, which is where the top of our sleeve head is, to this point, to this point. I'm going to go to the middle here, click and drag to create that nice smooth curve. Click on this point and click here. Now we have to shape this top sleeve because we don't want to use the existing paneling. So let's just simply... So what I'm doing is I'm getting my Convert Anchor Point tool, which is over here. Click on that one. 
I'm just going to simply click and then drag out, but obviously hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. I'm going to go roughly about there. We're going to have to tweak this. You see how I'm using both these curves to create that sleeve head. So I'm just simply clicking and dragging and trying to mimic that existing sleeve head. And you can drag this one in. Always use the shift for this top one. So we're almost there. It's not too bad. You could spend a lot more time on this. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time because I want to get through this tutorial. And then, obviously, because this one's been pulled out, just get your small selection tool. Click on the line to find that little point there. Get your convert anchor point tool. Just click and drag that in. And let's do the opposite side. Let's click and drag. This one might be a little bit easier. There we go. You can actually pull that handle in. Go to the top, so the small selection tool. Click on that. Hold down the shift key. There we go, it's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so now we've basically crafted or we've traced our pattern pieces. There you go. Unfortunately, we're missing a lot of information. We need these little points here. We also, I'd quite like to add these lines to show someone who's basically sampling this up how much we've spread the existing sleeve by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my existing block. So as you can see, remember before, we actually grouped that little element to this. What I could do is essentially is just ungroup this. So object and then go ungroup. And then I have that little point. So I get my big section tool. I'm going to click on that point there. And now I'm going to do the same for the other one. So I've got this one over here. Just going to click on it. I'm going to go object and then ungroup. I'm going to select these two points. I'm then going to group them. And same with this one. I'm going to go object and then ungroup. I mean, essentially, instead of doing this, actually, instead of doing that, you don't need to. What we could do instead is just simply mark those points. So I'm just going to get my line tool, which is here, and I'm just going to simply click and drag out from that point. Oh, hang on. Let's go in a little bit. Let's find the center of that point. I'm going to click and drag out roughly 90 degrees to that line. So instead of picking the existing notches, we can just draw in some new ones. Let's just simply zoom in. To do that, to zoom in, you just simply go Command plus on your keyboard and Command minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out. You can also move around the screen um, using your, if you hold down the space key on your keyboard, you can click and drag. This would have been mentioned, this should have been mentioned at the start of the tutorial. However, as I said, um, it's a lot easier if you have a look at our pattern making tutorials because all of this is explained in those tutorials. But let's just simply click and drag some lines out here. You can also use your arrow keys if you've got something selected. Just move your arrow keys, you can nudge it around. You can move that element around just by using your arrow keys. Okay, so we've now traced off um, those lovely little like notches, for example. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to simply get my big section tool. I'm going to click on this notch. I'm going to hold down my shift key, click on this notch, click, click, and then click on the outline. I'm going to go object and then group. And that way, when I move it, they're all there. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these lines just as guidelines. So I'm going to get my pen tool just over here and let's change the line width. So over here you have the stroke. I'm going to click on this little palette here to change the stroke. I'm going to make it one. I'm also going to give it a dash line to show that it is, well, it's a dash or it's just uh, a guideline. So I'm going to get my pen tool. I'm going to click at this point, then this point, then this point. I'm going to click here and then here, and then down to here. Uh, let's just hit the pen tool again. Click from this point to this point to this point. Hit P on my keyboard to activate the pen tool again. That will end the existing line, because if I were to go to this point, I'd be drawing a line between these two. So you see how we just can keep on going. To prevent that from happening, just hit P. You can see that line disappears, or the extension line. And then simply draw in the next one and then hit P, and you can start the next. Okay, we're going to do the same with the bottom here. I'm going to go P, I'm just going to click, I'm going to hit my P tool again to end that section, start a new one. P on my keyboard to start a new section and end the existing one. So once again, I'm drawing these lines because they're guidelines. It's just showing the person who will be, let's say, sampling this or maybe wants to pattern cut with it, um, what was actually done to this block in the first place. Okay, so we're almost finished now. What I'm going to do is we now need to basically get rid of our existing lines here or the existing pattern. So what I'm going to do is get my big selection tool. I'm going to click on this, so obviously my blue outline. Um, obviously, that was all grouped, which is great. I'm then going to get my shift, I'm going to hold the shift key down, I'm going to click on these lines that I've just drawn. When I hold down the shift key, it queues up or adds to the selection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go object and then finally group. So now if I click and drag it away, we've got a really lovely clean pattern. 
Let's do the same with the bottom one. So I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click on the outline. Hold down the shift key. Click on those individual elements. There we go. Go object and then group. So now let's have a look. If I simply click on this element, hold down the shift key, click on this element, move it away, we have that lovely sleeve that looks really clean and very, very pretty. Okay, so I don't actually need this anymore, so I'm just going to simply click and select over these and just hit backspace a few times. Let's then move our sleeve back into place and what we do, what we can now do is basically add some notches and we can also add some seam allowance and add it to the rest of our pattern. And we can also add these um, descriptions or labels even. Okay, so let's actually tidy this up and make it look a bit more like our block. So with my small selection tool, in fact, no, let's just select over all of this. I'm going to go to my color line color tool here, double click, and then just make it black. Click OK. And I'm going to get my small selection tool. I'm going to click on the outline, click on this point, hold down the shift key to queue up those selections. Just like, oop, just like that. Might have to zoom in for that one. No, I've got them. And then this one as well. And let's just go to the line and let's bring it down to about one just to keep it nice and even and clean with the same as our this pattern here. So we have these labels which we originally took from the existing sleeve. So we can now add this back in. So let's go to our big section tool. Click and drag and just place it anywhere on that board. Okay, the sleeve's shorter. So now we need to basically move this arrow further up a little bit. Let's go to our small selection tool. Click on the end point because it allows you to edit the end point only. So click on the end point, click and then drag up, hold down the shift key to lock it to the horizontal. And then let's get this little label here. It's a big section tool, click and let's just drag it over to the side here. And at the moment it's down in the layers, it's actually sitting below our block which is why the line's in front of it. So just select that item, go to object, arrange, bring to front, and there we have our upper panel. We can then select this item here, go edit, copy, edit, paste. There we go, click this, move it down to the bottom here. Uh, get our small section tool, click on that point, drag it down, hold down the shift key, click and drag. And then here we can say this could be lower sleeve panel. And to actually edit that text, all I'm doing is I'm getting my small selection tool, so the white one, and I'm just going to double click on the text, and it should give me a cursor. So sleeve, what was it, this would be upper sleeve panel. Upper sleeve panel. Okay, there we go. So next what we do is we're going to add some seam allowance just to finish off that pattern. Also what we could do, because this is quite a long line, we could actually add uh, some notches here. So I'm going to get my uh, line segment tool. So just over here, get my line tool. And in the center of here, I'm just going to draw up. We can also make sure that that is a black line. And let's just make it sure it's like two. And we can do the same on this edge as well. So we know that those two are going to meet up which is great. Once again, just make sure that if you are going to draw things or add things, you need to make sure you select them all and then go object and then group. Same for this one. Now we've got a few more elements added, object, group. And that way it all moves around together. Okay, so ne next let's add some seam allowance just to finish off this pattern. So I'm just going to select all of this here. So I'm going to get my small selection tool, click and drag over just these two outlines. I can click and drag over this. Hold down the shift key to queue up your selections and to remove selections. Hold down the shift key. Next we can go object and then path and then offset path and I'm going to use an offset of one centimeters because I use CM. Click OK and there is our seam allowance literally done in seconds which is amazing. I'm going to make it two points as well just so it stands out. See that? And let's just clean this pattern up. So once again this notch is overlapping. Let's get our small section tool. Click and drag. See? Click and drag. I'm just cleaning this up click and drag, there we go, same with this one, click and drag, just moving it into the pattern. And also because my notches are actually dark down here, I'm going to make these dark as well. So get my small selection tool, click, click, hold down the shift key to queue these up. Get my eyedropper tool, well the eyedropper tool basically, it if you have something selected and then you use the eyedropper tool on another element or line, it will pick up the attributes from that line, just like that, you see? Or you could do this, or you could do that. So if it's selected, use the eyedropper tool and you can select what you want it to be. So it's a really nice handy shortcut. I think that's pretty much it. I think we're done. Yeah, looking good. So that's essentially it. We could always move this line in. So that is how we draft a lantern sleeve. Um, once again, let me just grab this. It depends how much. It's up to you 
how much volume you want to create in this sleeve. If you want to make this far more dramatic, this uh, the distance from here to here, obviously you open it up more here, but open it up evenly, so maybe it'd be three centimeters. So three, 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 three. Also the length, once again, you're going from the sleeve head or the sorry, the um the shoulder point here down to where you want it to appear on the arm. Don't forget when this actually moves out it's going to pull that sleeve up ever so slightly. So 40 centimeters will probably turn into about 37 down the arm. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope it wasn't too fast. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside <laughs> so I'm going to get out and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions obviously please feel free to leave um, any questions in the comment section and we'll try and get back to you. Otherwise, if you want these blocks, take a look at designlab.london or visit uh, patentlab.london. You should also be able to find a link to those blocks in the bottom of this tutorial post if you're on our website. If you're on YouTube, just simply click the link in the YouTube description and it'll take you to that page. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.